what is up guys so I'm back and today I am going to be doing a little bit of a different video um, I'm kind of made up this thing I don't know if you can call it a challenge or what but I am calling this video how much does your face cost so the other day my friend was like girl you're wearing a $50 lip and I'm like you're right my lip does cost a lot of money so how much i wonder how much my whole face costs basically what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be telling you guys how much each product um is that i'm putting on my face anyway so i thought this was um a cool little video to do i was doing the calculations and let me tell you makeup is not cheap at all do you know those the steps it takes the tools you have to use the products you have to use Grow your face, it could reach a thousand. And at the end, we'll total it up and see how much this face be costing, okay? So the first thing I'm going to be using is the Origins Make a Difference Plus Ultra Rich Rejuvenating Cream. This is good for all you dry ladies out there, okay? If you're dry, you need to get this. So I like to put this on first. My eczema is coming back. I don't know what it is, but it's coming back and I'm just not ready for that. This cream here costs $43, $43, okay? $43 for some moisturizer. For that, I'm going to be taking my Fix Plus. This spray right here costs $23, okay? I'm gonna be taking my Max Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage. This retails for $31. I love this primer because I feel like it has, I said this in one of my other videos, I feel like it has some type of blurring effect to it. Uh, today I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick. Now this stick retails for $43. Well, let me tell you a little backstory about this foundation stick, okay? I like this foundation stick for like pictures or if you're not really gonna do anything or go anywhere or something you want quick honestly like it's it's good for if you're dry okay but it's so like slippery but it has a lot of emollients in it okay it looks good in pictures it looks good for like the first hour and then you go throughout the whole day and you're like what is this the shade I'm using, which I don't know if it's my shade because it's looking a little yellow on camera, is 153. Okay, so wear concealer. You guys know I love this concealer. I will not give up this concealer until I find another one that can replace it. But for now, this is what I'm using. This concealer retails for $22. The prices at MAC went up. Because I remember Studio Fix Fluid used to be like $27. Now with tax, it's $30. It's a $30 foundation. Like, look at the difference. I don't know about you guys, but my makeup just be getting all types of dirty because I use my hands, and then I'm touching this, and then I'm touching my products. I don't know how people keep their makeup clean. I don't know. But I'm taking my Prep and Prime highlighting pen. Now this retails for $27. Like, sometimes I'll just be buying stuff and I don't even know the price. But $27 for a pin? But it's good. And I like it to brighten. This shade is in the color light. They extended their Prep and Prime highlighting pin, um, like the color range. So we don't just have three anymore. Well, we have a lot more. And I just go in with it. And I'm just going to blend all of that out. We will be on a bronzer, and my favorite bronzer we all know is Max Give Me Some Bronzer. Now, this one retails for $33. go in with the bronzer. Like, I don't care about a bronzer helmet. I go 
going to let it. I just take the same brush and I just go on the sides of my nose. I don't do nothing crazy. Alright. So now after you look like you are just what are those? Going with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. This powder retails for $38. But you get a lot. You get a lot um, of product in here. And just pick it up on my beauty blender. And I pack it on right underneath the eye. And I bring it in really close to the nose area because this will create a slimmer nose. And then right here, I'm gonna cut it, um, make a, cre create a sharp line. And this will give me more of that brontour look. just on the nose and the forehead now I bake okay I bake it up and I don't care I just bake it up and then I just let it bake just let it sit there and on this part I'll move on to the brow brows I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow by Mac this is in the color charcoal brown now these um, refill uh, little pan eyeshadows uh, retail for six dollars which is not that bad for a MAC eyeshadow six bucks you can't beat it so I just go in with the shadow I got my brows done today and I'm like wait feeling these I'm going for more of that natural brow today. I don't like to let this part sit there too long. Because then it just creates a harsh line there. I dust the nose off and the forehead I dust off. Get it in my baby hairs. And I leave the under eye because that, um, leaving the under eye catches the fallout from the eyeshadows I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be taking the Anastasia self-made palette. Now this palette retails for $40. And in the palette, I'm just going to be taking the color Sherbert. And apply that right into the crease area. Now I'm gonna go in with the color hot chocolate. I'm gonna apply that to the outer and inner corner of the eye. I kind of just stamp on the product. Then I'm going to take hot chocolate and the spirit rock and just kind of deepen up. And I'm grabbing this color here. Now just taking um, any like matte burnt orange looking shade, I'm going to apply that and just kind of like blend the colors. This one is from MAC, it's called Brown Script and it is a refill pan and retails for $6. Now I'm going to take this color here called Blanc Type. Applying the color Treasure. 
make the colors more vibrant. I'm taking more of this beer rock and hot chocolate. I'm just stamping that. And I'm just going to smoke some of the hot chocolate underneath the, underneath the eye. Mascara I'm using retails for $23. So I apply the lashes and these are the Coco Lashes in Risque again. And these ones retail for $6.99, so like seven bucks. I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara to the bottom lashes. Highlighted bronzer I broke, but it's from Mac and it retails for $33 And it's more gold, so I'm just gonna mix it in with the bronzer Taking a Mac blush Which retails for $22 studio fix powder And this one retails for $27 I'm gonna spray my face with some Fix Plus. I'm taking Hover by MAC. This retails for $17.50 and the lipstick retails for $17. I'm be taking Boy Bait lip gloss. This is $20 by MAC. All right, so that is the completed look. Now, let's tally up everything we put on this face. So the grand total of everything that we put on this face, $546.50. Okay girl, so that's how much this face cost me. And we do not know <laughs> until we calculate everything. I cannot believe my face cost damn near almost $600. So, but you know what? I ain't complaining because these are some good products and it lasts all day long. And the, the products last you close to months. So I feel like every product is worth the price um, that I put on my face today. But if you wanna know how much your face costs, then go ahead and do this challenge. I tag every one of you to do it. Whoever does watch these videos and makes videos, do it girl because you'll be surprised on how much your face costs thanks for watching and until next time i'll talk to you guys later bye